Welcome back to Joe Stunner Boxing. Uh, there was a pretty, uh, pretty interesting little women's fight for the WBA Super Bantamweight title um, between two female fighters I wasn't that familiar with. Um, Mayelin Rivas of Venezuela. She's 34 years old. And um, Karina Fernandez of Mexico, who is, was younger, 31 years old. And I wasn't familiar with either of these fighters, but I liked what I saw from Mayelin Rivas. She stopped Fernandez and retained her WBA belt. In uh, After four rounds, I think the doctor took a look at, um, at Fernandez at the end of... Well, actually, it was at the start of the fifth round, didn't allow it to come out. And I don't blame him because um, Karina Fernandez was smashed up. Her face was a bloody mess. It The blood had that sort of bright red look that you get when you've got a broken jaw, you know. Uh, certainly her nose was bust because the camera was up close looking at her. And, uh, she weren't born with that nose. Um, and she's a brave girl, didn't think of quitting. But I like what I saw from Fernandez, who is a two-weight uh, belt holder. She won the WBA Bantam title previously, now holds a Super Bantam title. Um, for uh, Fernandez, this was, a, I think, a second attempt at a, a world belt. Uh, came up short again. But she's been down at light flyweight. So she, she, I think she'd done light fly, a, bit, a little bit of a stint at fly. Couldn't get a chance. Came in at 10 days notice for this WBA Super Bantamweight title fight. And no quitting that lady. But she did not have a lot of skills. She was very, very crude. Moved forward, swinging huge punches in a straight line. And okay, you can say, well, Rivas beat her. Beat her up and beat her. Broke her nose and so on. But so what? She had nothing to beat. Well, yeah, I understand that argument. But it was the manner in which she, she did her work that impressed me. Because... Rivas came in uh, with 16, 16 wins, 4 defeats and a draw, but 10 KOs, which in the women's game is quite a high ratio, and never stopped. Of her 4 defeats, she was never stopped. Karina Fernandez came in with 16 wins, 6 defeats and a draw, and she herself had never been stopped, but she only had, th she only had 3 knockout wins. So the heavier hands clearly belong to Ma uh, Mayelin Rivas, and... I don't think it's just about raw power. I think her technique was good because she didn't have to go looking for Fernandez. Fernandez was steaming in, you know, looking to just make a whole street fight out of it. Didn't really have a lot of tools in her fistic box, but there you go, you know. Sometimes raw power and strength and determination could get you a long way. You know, just ask Dennis Andrews, three-time WBC light heavyweight champ. I remember seeing him, couldn't box a lick. But until he went over to America and learnt the basics from Manny Stewart at the Cronk. But you know, there's some some people they they can get they can go quite away with with raw power with raw physical strength, but not if they face someone with the skills of a um, male in Rivas. Now this Venezuelan lady, I think she could go places because even though she's 34, there don't seem to be many miles on the clock. She has a lovely sort of stand-up style, uses the jab very, very well. Defensively, she's got her hands in her place, her feet are good. She did a lot of boxing on the back foot, taking little half steps back just to let those long levers go, give those levers a, you know, space to work. Um, someone with lesser skills might have been smothered by Fernandez and that sort of rampaging, wild punching style. But not, um, not Miss Riva, she, she did well. She did, did very well, actually, and um, she handled the aggression very, very well, really contained it. And to be honest with you, um, once you manage to contain the raw aggression of someone who hasn't got a lot of variety, you, you're, it's odds on you're going to win. So Marilyn Rivas, yeah, I like the look of her. I think she's good. She's um, she's now, I don't know, what is she, two, two weight world champ, maybe she'll move up. Um, I, I didn't see, when I looked earlier on box record or before the fight, I didn't see a lot of recognisable names. But like I say, she's a lady with four defeats on her record and she's learned the hard way. And she's she's learned from those defeats, clearly. Uh, so I, th I, think she, I think we might see her again. Um, as for um, the, you know, Karina Fernandez, 31, game girl, but not a lot of skill. Not a lot of skill at all. So... Check this fight out. It's on the zone. You might like it. I think, it's, I think it was quite good. Quite a good little fight.
um, another another lady to to add to the the mix, the female boxing mix of fighters who are improving who are looking pretty decent. That gene pool's gradually getting a little bit deeper. We all know that there ain't a lot of talent in a lot of these divisions, but yeah, I like the look of her. So anyway, if you saw the fight, leave your comments below. Go watch it on DAZN. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't already subscribed, you could hit the subscription button. I'd appreciate that. I want to build the numbers up. Uh, like the video, share the video. You know the drill. And uh, speak to you again sometime. Bye for now.